Live in Western Oregon, this is NBC 16 News at 530. You know, we don't want to go back to one person because that's going to really hurt our firefighting ability. First at 530, two people on staff at a time. That is the reality for McKinsey River Fire and Rescue. And that number is now at risk unless voters approve what some call a make or break measure. Good evening and thanks for joining us for NBC 16 News at 530. I'm Alan Matthews. And I'm Gold Meadows. McKinsey fire officials tell us that if voters don't pass this bill, they will be forced to reassess staffing levels, which may create unnecessary delays in response. Now, NBC 16's Julia Smith traveled up the McKinsey today to get some reaction. We have to get the message out to people that uh, if this measure doesn't pass, then we're going to have to go back to one person staffing again. Measure 2356 is a five year operations levy to support current staffing levels created following the holiday farm fire. Before the fire and during the fire, uh, we had one person on duty here at Lieberg Station. The other four stations weren't manned. Mackenzie Fire and Rescue is responsible for protecting roughly 40 square miles. There are five fire stations and only one of them is staffed by two firemen during a given shift. That's only possible due to funds granted by the Oregon State Fire Marshal's office following the fire. But that support is about to run out. The Mackenzie River community knows the importance of firefighters all too well. Multiple homes in this community burned down during the devastating 20 2020 holiday farm fire. And this right here is some remnants of one of those homes that burned down. If you expect to receive these services, we should expect to pay for them. Because okay. no, no such thing as a free lunch. We're asking our voters to approve a dollar five per thousand. Which would only maintain current staffing levels, not add to it. But we had one couple that wanted to understand more about it and asked me how I came up with the numbers I came up with and I explained to him that it's budget based. We don't have any big capital plans. And this is truly to support our, our current staffing level. And if the measure doesn't pass. It'd be the possibility of no 24 hour staffing, which means at night there wouldn't be anybody here and on weekends and we'd be going back to relying on volunteers. Something holiday farm fire responders remember all too well. Everything was on fire around here. If you walk down there, the view is just all burnt over timberland. Dana Burwell has lived here for 70 years and is a volunteer firefighter himself. Oh, it's, it's really been devastating for the whole community trying to rebuild. I mean, we probably had 20, 30 houses on fire for every fire engine we had. His farm went up in flames. And he recalls helping firefighters save his neighbor's property, including Tom Maddock. I'm quite willing to pay whatever we need to pay to make that uh, an effective service. And it goes beyond just fires. The majority of their calls are for medical emergencies, which usually require more than one person to respond. As for the extra tax dollars. I'd say it equals to about two cups of coffee <laughs> a month. So it's well worth it. Reporting up the Mackenzie River, I'm Juliette Smith. Now, the levy will also maintain a successful student program, allow grant matches for equipment and facilities, and ensure there are enough people to respond to medical incidents. If you want a more definitive amount of tax increases, you can contact the station.